After a deadly hit and run crash. Caused a big traffic problem near downtown Dallas this morning. Sowell is live near the scene. Yeah, and so crews have made uh, some great progress out here. That uh, big damage sign that was overhead here has now come down. It is there now on the grassy median, and uh, I think crews right now are trying to figure out what to do with the with the rest of it. Uh, that is, you can see it's it's, it's damaged extensively there. Uh, but uh, let me tell you what happened uh, overnight. About 12:30, a Dodge Charger with uh, that was speeding, according to witnesses, rear-ended an SUV, both traveling uh, eastbound here on. Uh, Arnold Thornton Freeway at Latimer. The impact uh, sent both vehicles out of control. The Charger ended up crashing through the gates of that HOV lane, spun several times, and then came to a stop. The female driver fled on, on foot. The SUV, meantime, hit the guardrail and that large sign overhead. The female driver was trapped. Dallas Fire Rescue had to bring in the heavy duty equipment to cut her out of that mangled vehicle, but unfortunately, they were not able to save her. She died here at the scene. The only thing we know about her is that she was in her 20s. Uh, meantime, the driver of the Dodge, again, the one responsible, was seen running from the scene and is still at large this morning. Now, this cleanup, again, this is happening here on uh, the ramp from I 30 uh, to both the northbound Highway 75 ramp and the southbound I 45 amp ramp. Uh, so, this has been closed again since uh, early this morning. So, hopefully, what this is going to mean is once the, they remove uh, all of this equipment here, the big crane and what have you, hopefully they'll be able to reopen uh, this particular uh, thoroughfare right here. Chip Wagner, what can you tell folks uh, in terms of uh, finding an alternative? Yeah, route? plan B, definitely something worth uh, starting to consider right now to try to move over in the northbound direction. We have now gotten to the point where the detour that I'm going to start talking about might not be the best way to go because as we look at this map, you can see how it's very heavy now back across the Trinity River Bridge. That kind of leads me to start thinking, you know, if one were to get off maybe back at Hampton, for example, work over to Fort Worth Avenue, Fort Worth Avenue would ultimately come right along through here and become commerce, and then you could move into downtown that way. A little bit north of that, you have the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge that would get up to Woodall Rogers, and that would be possibly a viable alternative, again, for you folks east of the Trinity, uh, excuse me, west of the Trinity River trying to move in that eastbound direction. The other route that a lot of folks have been using are trying to get to side streets and using Cesar Chavez to move up in the northbound direction. The reason that that's not as great now is because we're in the heat of the morning rush for people are going into the downtown area in mass and so trying to move through that construction zone combined with all the other rush hour traffic, it's pretty slow. Getting out of the uh, area and going to southbound I-45 and 175, that's also a little bit of a trick, but the sooner you can get to the service road south of I-30 and work your way over uh, to that area by going to Cesar Chavez, the good news about that is once you're on Cesar Chavez, it's easy to then make the transition to 175 or I-45. Driving north of there along 635 LBJ,